lead to be set up as Stobo starts in. First ball of the day. And a lovely drive for four. Henry Hunt off the mark for the day immediately. Lovely shot. Look at And that's out. Caught behind. Second ball of the day. So Agar is on his way. Another wicket for Kelly. And the Redbacks lose one. And they're three for 35. Shaping up to be a good finish. Well, edged by McSweeney past the diving player at second slip. And this one's going to go away to the boundary at third man for four. Full of ball. Again edged. But again, kept it low. And he's rewarded with another boundary. McSweeney, he's not middling them. Shortish ball pulled away beautifully by McSweeney. It's his third boundary of the morning. First couple off the edge, but that one, talk about the sweet spot, right out the middle. Another avenue. Driving oh. at this one, full of ball, and that was a beautiful cover drive. Just almost caressed it. It was hit well as it races to the rope for four. And on the pull, in the air, while he's going to take a catch straight away. So he's in the action, the subfielder. And a wicket falls, Henry Hunt, who's renowned for, as a pretty good player of the pull shot. Unfortunately, hits that one straight down the throat. On the hook this time and hits it sweetly oh. right into the gap bisecting the two fielders in the deep for a boundary. So excellent shot there. I like the intent though. I thought it was pretty good. I think it's fantastic. Shot from Lehman. Typical Lehman shot, whether it's him or his old man. Through the covers, bang, four. Well driven. And it gets past the diving fielder there at mid-off and that'll go all the way to the boundary. Slow up, but still comfortably get to the rope. And drives and gets it past the bowler. That was a tad slow, but I think that should quite comfortably hit the boundary rope and does. Very strongly struck by Lehman. Brings Rocking up the 100. Uh, as Jake Lehman did, he got caught down leg side. That's a beautiful reverse sweep by Nathan McSweeney. Missed out trying it first ball the over, but he made no such mistake that time and that races away. Clearly the Redback's going to bat on after lunch. That's a nicely played shot. McSweeney brings up his half century. One, two, three bounces over wide long on. A good knock from him. 87 balls. And that was his eighth four. Well played, Nathan McSweeney. Yeah, beautiful shot by McSweeney. Used his feet nicely. and Deep cover point. Slip in play still. Cameron Gannon. Edges just short. Or has he caught it? No, he's taken it. A great catch. He's claimed it. Lehman staying there. Has the umpire put his finger up? And worked fine. Good shot from McSweeney. Should be at least a couple. Long chase for the field, and he won't get there. So four runs. Moody unable to get there in time. And another boundary from McSweeney. Kelly flays all the way that one nicely. Sort of, I think, field at backward point. Not 100% sure what was going for a second, but it was to his left and away to the rope for four. That's, been, that's nicked. Through that game, we've seen lots of balls go down there this game for four, four more. more. For Kelly. Frustration for the Western Australians. McSweeney goes aerial and one bounce. That's a delightful shot. Inside out over mid off. Fantastic. After T. Oh, given straight away. Kelly gone. Barely a reaction from Western Australia. Rocket Shelley to Nielsen. <laughs> goes the reverse sweep and beats the man. Picks up a boundary. Well played. Yeah. Delicate. Oh, this one's maximum. Into the punters, if they were there. Clatters into the seats. Just lifted off a length. McSweeney. Thanks to Tommy Cooper's telephone. McSweeney goes hard and flat and gets it. Like a one wood down the ground. Gets some room and gets the ball he wants. Punches the air, embraces his teammate. It's back-to-back -back Sheffield Shield hundreds for Nathan McSweeney. Looking for early wickets. We see a Brendan Doggett who didn't take the new ball in the first innings um, with the ball in hand. Goals to Bancroft who just works it to Mount Square League. And they run off the first ball of... The second hitting is 
It's driven nicely through the covers by Bancroft. The first runs of the innings, and it will be a boundary. Times it beautifully. He's off the mark with a four. That's a nice shot. Driven away beautifully through the covers. That's a wonderful boundary. Oh, good ball. That's an edge, and that is out. I think the appeal is Whiteman walking now. For a minute, I thought he was going to stand his ground, but it was a beautiful delivery from McAndrew. Whiteman is gone. That was the one they wanted. Working hard, McAndrew here on the pull. Nice shot. That'll be four. He's hit that hard. Very hard hit shot by Bancroft away to the mid-wicket rope. His yeah. first boundary since T. Shot. Yeah, it was indeed, wasn't it? Punches that way in typical Sean Marsh fashion to the rope. So that's his trigger to get in, I think. That four. Nice shot. Moves to eight. Well driven. Textbook stuff from Marsh. Out through mid-off. Two fielders going up. It's going to slow up and it will go. The diving effort couldn't quite pull it in. Nice drive. That was beautifully timed. No field is going to stop that. Smoked to the boundary by Bancroft. Just given how true this surface is. Edged and taken. So that is the wicket they needed. Agar, beautiful delivery. Menenti takes the catch. Marsh is on his way. Get a few more wickets this afternoon. That's a lovely shot oh. from Bancroft. Out through cover for four. He's batting well at the moment. Moves to 45. That was sublime, wasn't it? Two slips for Agar to Bancroft. Chops that out through uh, the covers. That'll be his half century for the veteran opener for Western Australia. He'll come back for a third in the end pretty comfortably. So well done to Cameron Bancroft. Another shield 50 for him. And he's played pretty well here this afternoon. Well done to him. Oh, Full shot. toss. So he's hit that well. Down to the boundary for four. We've seen some lovely shots through that area in this uh, final session today. And that was one of the better ones. Four yeah. to Cartwright. Not Agar, not Agar's best delivery there. My goodness me. And so Doug Bollinger running in with the... It wasn't two balls at that point. When, so as soon as it got a little brown, the ball, that was it for the rest of the, uh, the, rest of the evening. Yeah, and time they've got plenty of, yes. don't they, if they're to save this game. That was a nice drive there from Cartwright through the offside, away down to the rope for four. Slapped away there by Bancroft, and he'll be rewarded with four. I think he timed it perfectly, but it races away down to the boundary. Might spark something, but no, I think they'll probably stick with Menenti. It's driven beautifully by Bancroft away through the covers, and he looks well set. He plays the defensive strokes beautifully, but every now and then he reminds us. It's sore, but okay. Un under the lid now. It's Bancroft driving as he's Shot. done so well during his innings. Didn't perfectly time that one, but it will still race away for four. Delightfully played. Just use the angle. Normally a very, very difficult shot to get an off-spinner. I'd be saying to Brennan Doggett. Flight it and shot. driven. That's a good shot. Will it make the rope? It's just going to get there, yeah. Just Buckingham, the subfielder there, unable to stop it. Right, <laughs> last ball. And it's played away for probably a couple, I reckon. Yeah, he'll come back for two. So West Australia... Two off the last ball of the day. They close day three on two for 139.